Hi, David here, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my images in Lightroom 5. Um, if you're new to Lightroom and you're just importing some of your images, you're going to want to make sure that your images are organized so you can find them at a later date. Um, a lot of times, yeah, you want to have it organized in Lightroom, but you also want to have them organized in your the proper folder and named uh, the files uh, named correctly too. Because the way I do it, I have I create a new catalog each year. So every year I'll have a new catalog, and if I'm not sure where a certain image is, like I don't know if I captured it in 2012 or 2013. I'll have to open up each Lightroom catalog and search for that image. But if I have the folders named correctly and the images named correctly, I'll be able to just go to my finder, type in the event name, and I should be able to find what year that was in. Then from there, then I can open up my Lightroom. So I am in my 2013 catalog, and you can see over here on the left hand side, I have an event with the numbers. I usually I start with the numbers of the year, the month the day and then underscore the name of the event um, this was these images were taken in Ohio pile around our area but if it was like a wedding I would do the same thing so 2013 the, the month and then the day underscore the bride's last name or the groom's last name underscore wedding if it was a portrait same thing uh, the person's last name or family's last name underscore portrait so now so this was done in Ohio pile if I just open up my finder you can see I have a folder that's just called photography so all of my photography images are in this folder and then under pictures this is where all of my my raw and JPEG files are so if I go in the pictures and I go to 2013 and this was captured in August you can see August 2013 and then right here I see Ohio pile and then you can see the ones that I've kept each image here is named with the year the month the day the event title and a number so I usually start with 001 and then so on so if I'm actually searching I remember that I've captured some images in Ohio Pile, but I couldn't remember if it was 2010, 2011, what year it was. I can just go to the Finder and type in Ohio Pile, or if it was a wedding, type in the person's last name, underscore wedding. It'll bring up everything with that name in it. And if I type in Ohio Pile, I will see that it was captured in 2013. So when I first create my Lightroom catalog, like I said, I have a folder for photography and I put all my images under pictures. So then I create a folder for that year. So for the next year, I'll create a folder 
and name it 2015 space images. So I know everything that I capture is in the 2015 images. And then in there, like for this year, I would put a folder for the month and the year. So this one was January 2014, so I'll put 01-2014. And inside each folder for the month, I will have everything that we have shot in that month's folder. So we have, a, in January, we started a couple of 365 projects. Sarah has one. I have one. I've done one before, so this is year two, as you can see. It has the year, the month, the day, and the title. And then if you open up that month, that event, you will see that there are every single image has the year, the, the month, the day, and then the title. So that's how I try to keep everything organized. So if I type in um, If I type in anything in the search, it's going to come up with everything on the Mac. With that name. So. So I just typed in moon and I clicked on pictures. Now everything that would have the name moon in it would show up. So you can see right away there are three folders that have pictures of the moon. So there's 2012, 2013, and 2013. Uh, there's two separate days. So I can find that right away. If I go back and put in Ohio Pile, you will see I have ones in 2007 here and 2013. And I know it was recent, so I can I know right away that this it was 2013. So then I can just go ahead and open up my 2013 Lightroom catalog and know right away that's where the image is going to be. So that is how I organize my folders and files and images uh, for my Lightroom. 
So if you have any questions, um, just put it in the comments and I will try to get back to you on answering them as soon as possible. Uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.